I will give you one example. Uh, I have an opportunity to meet one of the uh, space agency chief who happened to be a civil engineer uh, and uh, in Europe and uh, he was uh, from a civil engineering background but he came to agency and he was working on how to create human habitats in moon and Mars. So how to use a human regolith uh, build uh, building blocks maybe additive manufacturing and how to create tunnels and civil structures in other planets. So this was one of his topic of research. So you can understand how a civil engineer can contribute. I will also I also remember uh, another civil engineer who worked uh, in ISRO, a, a leading person uh, who later became a rocket researcher. His background was civil engineering. But later he became an expert in structural engineering, uh, designed a lot of rockets parts. Uh, but then later he became an all in all uh, an expert uh, in rocket engineering as well. So civil engineers can definitely contribute and uh, we do recruit civil engineers uh, in specifically in the domains of structural designs and uh, uh, as such areas but the entrance test possibly could be more dominated by questions from aeronautics and other areas. So those who are interested to join ISRO though even with the background of civil engineering should at least learn a little bit about rocketry, uh, aerodynamics and other domains.